Solo Ghost of the Deep. This has been by far my most brutal uh, solo dungeon experience, and my solo Warlord's Rune was pretty bad, man. Oh my god, you can't be serious. Wow, dude, like... Oh my god, I was not prepared for this at all, apparently. In way over my head for no reason at all. I think the uh, four deaths in the opening encounter uh, probably should have told me a little something about how this would go, but I don't think I could have guessed how bad it was gonna be it was it was pretty awesome though so yeah enjoy my pain and suffering and uh, let's let's just do some stuff with it oh also one of my roommates was uh playing a game in the background so you might hear that every once in a while yeah so opening encounter as i would say also it just has the most electric encounters other than that the main problem i had with it was i died to the moths three separate times somehow that was pretty crazy hello moths I don't appreciate you just absolutely nuking the shit out of me. <gasps> oh, dude, what? Where are these moths coming from, man? No chance, dude. These moths are gonna make me go insane. Uh, yes and... Moths, dude! <laughs> and then the last time I died to, you know, some pretty garbage mechanics. I don't like shooting a rocket too close to yourself damages you. That's a little dumb in my opinion, but... Oh, hi there. Oh my god. Dude, there's no way that killed me. There's no way. There's no way. Other than that, like, just... I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know why it took me so long. It took me like an hour to get through this, so here's that. I'm like, I'm like two seconds away from looking up a guide. This is bad. Boom. Holy explosion. Bro, I have restoration times too. What is this? Oh my god. I'm dude. I'm out here struggling. This is brutal. Why did no one tell me this? Dude, I'm actually like th these moths have given me PTSD. I'm so scared of them, dude. Bad moth. You've got to be joking me. Oh, dude. I know you guys haven't seen it because I've been having to actually focus my ass off. Best part is I've done it three times. I get to do it a fourth. Yes. No, that's two. Okay. Oh my God. We finally made progress. Holy. Miss. Miss. Oh, bro. Don't be doing that to me. <gasps> please. Please. Ah. Oh, oh my God. That took so long. That legitimately took me almost an hour. Ah. Uh -huh. This is not good. This this dungeon is not gonna go well. Oh, first encounter was pretty bad. No, uh -oh. If you couldn't tell, made a little joke there, like, oh, it's not gonna be that bad. But uh, most of the time when I'm doing that, it's like, oh yeah, I'll just have to lock in for the rest of the dungeon and it'll be fine. That was not the case this time. That was uh, that, that was very wrong. I was very wrong there. I'm a lot. Oh yeah, for nice little secret chest. Big little secret chest. Pretty big. Had a bit of a close call with these thrall right here, but other than that, it was uh, it was fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Counter two, big Ekthar guy. Yeah, I ended up uh, caving and watched a guy before this because like, dude, if I can't get this damage or whatever on this guy, I'm actually gonna go insane doing this dungeon. So I did that. Uh, Yeah, I'll just let you see how this went. Railed and I already had a pop well, good. That's good, man. Oh my God, dude, they can stop hitting me. Let me heal, let me heal, let me heal, let me heal. Or not, I can really feel him on my ass, dude. Hi there. That's really fun. The oh, there's the big dick one. I think I may have just screwed myself because if he starts body blocking, yeah, there's no bubble. Oh, holy clutch. Oh my God. My butthole was clenched there for a second. Okay, so I got this one. Bad Ekthar. Dude, please. Ah. So many enemies. That's pretty sad. That's really cool, man. Okay, I didn't want to be in my well anyways. That missed? Hello? You know what? For literally not being able to do damage to him, that was pretty good. Because he was just up in my grill the whole time. He's so fast. Yo, why is he so fast though? Oh, but I got the shmovement. Oh, I got the shmovement. I really don't like this boss. Holy exotic? Is that what that was? Oh, it is. A little exotic, dude. It's meant to be. Nice little random drop exotic. Kind of made me think like, oh, maybe this is the run. Maybe I magically get flawless despite the fact that I've already proven I cannot do this dungeon. Dude, he just comes in on me, dude. That's good. That's good, man. That's good. Holy damage. There we go. That's it. This is it. 
This is tech? Don't, like, don't walk up to me like that, man. Oh, that well is almost out. That well is almost out. No. Yep. Big damage, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Why is this one going so much worse than the last one? Ektar is on my butthole, though. He is trying to get up there for some reason, dude. I don't need a colonoscopy. Yeah, I'll just go over here. As long as uh, Mr. Ektar gets off my taint. Vestiges so they don't kill me. Oh my god, wait. Actually, I have to, like, book it. Get out of my way. Piss off. Get in the well. Bro, please back off. I know you stun. And I'm out of there. Ouch. That hurt, man. Not very cool. Holy shit, how, wait, whoa, 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 That was scary. Dark, don't come this way. You pussy. I hate you. Thanks for launching me into a bubble, though. Uh, Thruha is supposedly over here, I think. If I'm remembering correctly, it should be right here. No way. Dude, I'm so dumb. I even saw it. All right, admittedly a silly first death. I just did not look at that rune and ended up getting boomed out of existence on that run, despite it being pretty decent. Surprisingly, uh, I only died one more time after this to Ekthar bullying me under the water. That was really fun. But then he did, it wasn't that bad. I had a couple close calls uh, after that, but I was doing really good damage, actually. Now that I look back at it, I was ended up having to like, skip a damage phase even because he kind of, I didn't set up for it and so he just started just bullying me and i was not having fun but outside of that yeah he was pretty smooth what's he doing did he break apparently he broke my uh dragon's breath oh please bro please oh my god dude the dragon's breath <laughs> the dragon's breath blowing up on top of you is the scariest thing in the world just like that man i wish you'd get out of the middle of my well oh no he's just gonna slide towards me yeah, 100%, dude. Oh my, that was such big damage, though. Uh -huh. Oh, well, that's just because I don't have restoration. Oh my god. Holy damage! Oh my god, dude! Holy shit, no! Big seasonal challenge, dude. Okay. Oh my god, please, dude. Oh my god, please, dude. Oh, I'm so close. Oh my god, please! Ah! Uh! Ah, yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that took so long for no reason. Looking back at it, Ekthar was not that bad. And I think I just had a stupid death, and that's kind of what put me in the dumps for that. But other than, like, he really wasn't all that bad. And yeah, for this next jumping part, uh, I just hate that big shrieker room. But other than that, it wasn't, you know, the same thing. It's not that hard when you're not actively, <laughs> actively sabotaging you and your friends. Oh, final boss. I have no idea how to say her name. But this was culmination of all of what I have done before this. Two hours of work, and my recording's five hours long if that tells you anything. So this was good. Uh, I decided that I would just, I just did not know what to do for damage for her. Because I knew like Ekthar at least, he's like right there. So you can kind of just use whatever. But I swear to you, every time I played this dungeon, she always pulled out some garbage. Where you try and use rockets, but she's too far. And then you miss your rockets and you get no damage. Or you use a linear and for some reason, it just does not do as much damage as rockets. So I guess I figured I'd try Dawn Chorus, um, Sunbreaker, Sunbreaker, Sunsinger, whatever the hell. Because I figured, oh, well, one time it worked for me really well and uh yeah all right mr vorlog please come here i know it's gonna take forever because you gotta run your fat ass all the way over here oh my god i dude i always forget about them all right so we have burger and cakes and something else i don't know what yet <laughs> deep side deep side there you are beautiful little deep side all right ready go yeah, this is, I think, where it started to go downhill. I started to brain rot from the amount of symbols that I'd seen, where I'd said, oh, I have to do damage at chest for some reason, even though I knew the symbol or my last symbol was not chest. And so even then, I just autopiloted and went there and uh, lost my first DPS to literally not even, like, just didn't, oh, I didn't look at the symbol. I just straight up did the wrong one. So that was pretty, that was really awesome for me. I also ended up dying two times right after that. Destroyed myself on that because why did I die I, in really two really stupid game. ways? This game's trying to give me an aneurysm right now, dude. Holy moths. Holy no. Finally, finally back to just past, like, not doing damage, man. And now is when tragedy strikes. All right, there's one. Oh, dude, I didn't look at the symbol. Oh my god, no way. Oh, well, there goes another one. Thank god. Chest. Yeah. 
So, this was try number three after already not getting damage and getting close, and it just was pure stupidity. And just, I was getting really broken at this point. I was just like, man, I just want to get to damage to see if I, like, actually need to, like, really, really try this, or if I can just, like, oh, it's, a, you know, it's an easy four phase, or it's an easy three phase, if, by God, I was that lucky. Hello? Like, why, why there? Why'd I have to move up, like, two inches? And remember to look at the symbol. Lose out on an entire run because I didn't look. Why'd he just, like, book it towards me and then, like, run away immediately? Like, I don't want to- He's like, oh, I'm gonna get you. I don't want to deal with that. Or right, almost done. Almost first damage phase. All right. All right, come on. Stop dodging. Something tells me that's not worth it. Something tells me that's not worth it. I don't know what it is though. So I expeditiously decided that that was not the play for damage. Admittedly, if I hit more of my super per maybe it would have been better, but I just felt the, like it would not be good. And as soon as my super ran out, I was just shit out of luck for protection. So yeah, I'm about to get boomed. Vorlog, no! Bad Vorlog. Oh my God, dude. Why is there so many of them? All right, go. Where are you going? No chance, dude. Oh, my well ran out. Dude, I just don't know what to do for this. So, as just mentioned, I had legitimately no idea what to do for damage. I knew I had to get something that worked for a fair bit, like at least a fifth of damage, because this was actively torture for how much damage I was doing for the like effort and everything for that. Oh my gosh, it was just so much work for literally no return on damage. So I decided to try a linear, see if that would prove my luck at all. Oh no, I missed! No! Oh my god! Like, uh, I just don't know, man. Absolutely riveting gameplay right here. Damn, bro, I really enjoyed that damage phase with all the fucking, like, with all the flinching and stuff that was happening. It was really cool, man. Really fun, really enjoyable. Oh my god, dude, no way! Why? Why do you so do so much damage? This is the beginning of my descent into madness. Um, dude, I had had death what? after death after death. It was getting pretty late, and I was getting super tired, pissed off. My brain was fried out of my mind. I could not do anything to this boss, I, but until I finally got into a tiny bit of a groove, I had this run. This run was going great. I had finally gotten a groove with my abilities. I always had something on standby to be able to be like, okay, if I really get weak here, I can just use an ability, get my health back, stabilize, keep working. I was doing great damage to the boss for the first time in like Shit. however long I've been spent on halfway. this boss. I got to below little. half health, which was really good. And yeah, everything was just going well. I was not really happy still but it was still going well on top of everything this run had been my longest by far and had been nearing like an hour in length and so after all of the effort and all of the time that i had put in finally came down to this No way. No way. Dude, there's no way. In the end, all it took was one stupid little mistake of staying in the air too long, going right towards the boss. Admittedly, had I thrown that nade, or had not, had I not thrown that nade, it would have been, I could have used it to heal, but I just felt so cheated because it was so late, and everything it felt like just gunned me down out of the sky. I was just way too fried, so I just quit right then and there. My roommates were going to bed. 
I just was like, dude, I'm done with this. I, dude, and of course, I swear to God, my controller now has stick drift. I don't know how because swear to God, I did not thunder send my controller across the room into something, but I guess setting it down a little too hard was just way too much, huh? But, you know, in the spirit of that, I'm in Marfsov's bathwater because I'll be back. Um, gotta, I'll, I'll get it done eventually. I just need a break from it right now because that was demoralizing and yeah. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be cool. If you uh, want to hit that bell as well, that'd be also cool. And yeah, see you in the next one.